What's up people? So, you may know that I did try and stream the UFC 4 beta, but EA said, no, you can't do that. Fuck you, they took me down. Uh, you know, I heard that Weidman got taken up to us. I didn't think they would do that. Um, it's been a sort of a weird situation because, first of all, they have an NDA on a closed beta. I get it, there have been betas with NDAs before, but UFC 3 didn't have one on their closed beta. And they just took this one down after two days, so either they got the data they wanted in two days, kind of unlikely, or they shut it down because there was a lot of negative feedback, which we'll get into a little bit later on. But, yeah, surprised they didn't let anyone stream it. Um, well, funny that they retweeted Louis Smoker saying he was going to stream it, so I don't know if that was all of that. They might have taken it stream down as well, I don't know, I didn't check it out. Um, but, yeah, so nobody could stream it. I got taken down just before I got into the fight, which might be a blessing, actually, because if I'd got into the fight, they might have done something worse. I got a copyright strike. It'll be gone by October 11th. I had to do... I had to attend copyright school, apparently. That was, um... fun. Uh, nobody liked that video. I checked the likes and dislikes. Quite a bad ratio. Doesn't surprise me they turn comments off. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is UFC 4 beta. What did I think? So, just start... Just gonna go through a comment that I posted, or a thread that I posted on Operation Sports, which really details some of the stuff I would like to see changed for launch, and just some of the mechanics I think could be changed to increase the skill needed, and to, you know, really help adjust the ground game. I don't think they'll do it, I really don't, but here's just what I would like to see anyway. And in general, my thoughts on the beta. So we'll start from the top. I didn't think there would be more, you know, I didn't think there would be much in terms of striking animations, new, new striking animations, considering that, um, Marshall Mind was making a video on that so late into the development cycle and him being a game changer, he would have played the game already, so it didn't... Once I saw that and I put the, you know, put two and two together, I was like, okay, probably not much more. I do like the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu slash boxer guys having weaker, sloppier kicks. Though. That's nice. That's kind of a... Something from Undisputed 3, which Henry's been pushing for for a while. The menus, cool design, you know, music was all right. Um, I do really like the outside, the octagon stuff, the customization and all that stuff, but... To be honest, to me, that's that stuff you should only do once you nail the gameplay. Um, I mean, you know, I'll, you know, you would like in a perfect world you could do all of it at once, but you can't. So, I would have preferred that to come after they nailed the gameplay, which I don't believe they have. Um, you guys know I'm an undisputed three guy. I love that game to bits. I believe it offers the most realistic, the best playing, the most fun MMA experience ever that we've ever seen in a video game. And, well, they haven't really taken many steps towards that with UFC 4. The highlights would definitely be the clinch, which is, um... I don't know if I would say revolutionary. It's... And, and I say that because Undisputed 3 sets such a high bar that I, I... What this really does well is there is no transitions with the stick, so it, it, it's quicker. It's a lot quicker, and you don't get that slight hitch that you do in Undisputed 3... Although, when you're transitioning quickly, you don't really see that too much on SP3, but it is definitely smoother than on SP3, but I don't think it's better. And I say that because it still feels like it's weird. This game has a bad habit of feeling both way too light and also still too heavy. Um, I don't exactly know how to explain it, but strikes don't... I mean, they still don't have follow-through on the strikes. It's, it, 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 that's an issue I'll get into in a minute. The clinch feels like it's not free enough, and it's also, but it's also too light. Like shit, it needs to be more weighty. But then you run the risk of going back to UFC two and three style heaviness, which is not what we want. I'm not talking about movement exactly. I guess I kind of am, but just I don't know. And I, I didn't get much time to, to, to you know learn it. I, I I got a couple of things down, but really there wasn't enough time. There's no practice mode for some weird reason. It is what it is. EA gonna EA. Um, odd choice. Even even Gameplay Dev was surprised, so... You know, what does that tell you? Although he did leave a little bit before the beta, so... You know, probably didn't know what was going into it exactly. Um, yeah, so the striking... You know, we've gone through the clint a little bit. It's nice. It's cool. But we'll see later on why... I don't particularly think that... It was the core issue that needed fixing. It was an issue. Absolutely an issue. But the way the clinch... The way the grappling worked... Uh, the whole grappling system on the ground means that all these innovations for the clinch and takedown systems don't really have much of a use, in my opinion. In the, yeah, they're nice, but the obviously, especially with takedowns, you will get someone to the ground. It's, I mean, to me, it's almost like they didn't finish it. Because the way this ground game is, to me, 
I'm not going to make much use of these new, um, you know, takedown animations or clinch animations. Probably more clinch, but not really takedowns because to me the ground game is awful. It has been since UFC 2, which I thought was good at first, then I started to realise it's not very good at all. Um, there really are just so many issues that EA seem happy with, so I've kind of given up on trying to be vocal about it, it because I know it's not their vision. So I just try and, you know, I then when I put forth my points now, I just understand that, you know, EA's vision is not my vision, so I try and sort of adapt it to what they might um, consider doing. But I like the clinch. It's the best part of the game. The clinch is nice. Could be, you know, improved upon. The grand game... Pretty awful, same as it's ever been. Um, and I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go through a list of things that I think could be fixed. And then I'll just uh, round up my points on what I really like about the beta, what I don't like. There isn't much I love. In fact, the only thing I really like is the uh, customization. And that's about it. I mean, I don't even, there's only a slice of that. So that's probably going to be nice. But let's get to the stuff which I think they could improve upon. Okay, so takedown struggles. This has not never been a thing in an EA MMA game, which has always bugged me because Undisputed did it so well. It was player, you know, player focused. There, what you know, it wasn't hugely stat based. It wasn't particularly timing based. It was you had to mash either. You have to spin the stick in Undisputed, which you know took skill. In the well, I say took skill. You had to spin it quickly. So I guess you needed to get good at spinning it. Um, and in EA, MMA, and UFC, you just sort of have to time it. And, you know, you don't, it doesn't really matter because, first of all, they broke takedown GA and UFC 3. It was all right in 2. Uh, and basically, any decent player will stuff everything unless you have insane GA. So, kickboxing and a cage part 4. Um, yeah, I think they could implement takedown struggling via, via uh, button smashing. Now, obviously, I prefer the stick, but obviously, EA don't seem to want to do that. So, I figure that um, considering that you have to press a button anyway to get takedowns now, you have to hold the button, I don't see why you can't smash it. There's two benefits to this. this it's more skillful, and two, it's easier for casuals. Um, they, they're they not going to know you have to hold the triggers down on the first go. They're going to smash buttons, and by chance they might smash the same button that they um, that they were pressing um, when they were striking, which might have been a square, and they might end up defending a takedown. They might go, oh, that's how you defend a takedown. Look, I think button smashing is good anyway, because for this situation, I think it works... Um, you've got to be, first of all, you've got to be a quick smasher, and you don't need to rely on building up GA, which is, well, you don't have to build up GA per se, but getting the GA is, GA is such a gamey system anyway, and the way they implemented it in 3 and 4, I'm not sure how, I mean, obviously we don't have the same takedown system, so we can't really test how GA compares, but on the ground, it's the same, it's stupid. Um, I think button smashing will work, as it really increases the skill it gives you that feeling of struggling for the takedown. So it's satisfying if you get one. And if you don't get one, ah, you know, it's a shame. You either go to sprawl, get back to your feet, try again. Um, so I think that's that's a benefit that they could implement while not getting away from their current control scheme. That's what I tried to that's what I tried to get in there. I didn't want to deviate from the control scheme design. Obviously, I'm not expecting it to ever do this, but I tried to make my suggestions so they might they might fit inside what they've got. So got through the takedowns. Now we're on the ground. Oh my god. For three games in a row, the grand game has been utter, utter shit. And they seem to be perfectly fine with it, and they didn't change anything because competitive players didn't want to be confused. News flash: competitiveness comes second to realism. Not EA either. Um, alternatively, just give me, you know, just give a different control scheme for online quick fight and um, offline if you really want to keep rank the same. Okay, so I just cut a whole chunk of that out because I went on a huge rant about competitive players and, uh, you know, competitive balance and realism and really got away from the point. So let's get back to it. We've got through takedowns. Let's go back to the grand game. I believe to have the best balance between skill and stats, you'll want a... To be honest, this isn't even stat based. It's mostly skill. Um, Preemptive denials, like Undisputed 3. I understand EA don't like this exactly, or they, they've never really implemented it. You could put this in the current system. Um, essentially, a transition cannot be denied once successfully started. You must hold R2 and the right stick to defend transition attempts. Um, or rather, yeah, you have, to, you have to... Basically, it's like 
you're holding defense. So if they try and transition while you're defending, they won't be able to get through. It will just deny the transition. Um, but if, they, if if you let go of VAR2 and they transition, you can't stop it. So you have to be on the, on the ball. And that means that people have to time their transition. They won't be able to just throw small punches to build up GA. And it also fixes the, you know, rabbit punch deny transition issue. I would hope they wouldn't take a huge chunk of stamina for getting denied. But knowing EA, they probably will. Because I don't understand how they've made four games and every single one of them has serious issues before launch. Like, that tells you something. That tells you something. Anyway, that's why I think you could fix the transition issue. At the very least, keep ranked as it is if you want. Give us an online quick fight option for these different denials. And, um, yeah, offline as well, of course. You know, they added Neo Bully, which is nice, but it's... That's it, man. There's nothing really, there's nothing new. There's some new animations with transitions, but that's it, you know. Look, you can have as many animations as you like, but if it's not good in, in practice, then what is, what's what's the point, you know? You obviously had a speed 3, have, may have had less animations per position, but it played so much better. You know, something might be deep, but it might not be good in practice. It might be nice, it might be deep, good in theory, but when you put it to the test, it might not hold up. And that, I believe, is what EA Sports UFC 2, 3, and 4 have with their ground game. It's, it may, may have deep mechanics, but they're just, they're not good. They don't, they don't play well. Undisputed 3, still the king in that aspect. It, it, I believe Undisputed 3 is the king in all aspects, but that's just me. I understand other people have their own opinions. It is what it is. I can't quite understand why they would think that, but I respect it, you know. It is what it is. People like have their own favourites. They're quite a simple subs. Don't ask me why. EA making really weird decisions with this game. The submission system. I didn't think it was too bad. People saying it was OP. I thought it might be a little bit at first. Now, I understand it's not perfect. There are balance issues. The um, the problem is you have to... Well, okay, so you have to be incredibly smooth. The bar does not fill as quick, does not fill as, quick as you might think if you're smooth. Um... The problem is the attacker's bar never goes down at all, so you could just keep you can just be super quick as the attacker, and the defender is kind of handicapped to begin with. So I think if they if they make the attacker's bar reduce a little bit, if they go quick, it could balance it out a little bit, and um, really you know help that submission system flourish a bit. Also, I think it's way way better than the break wall system. That shit was. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad, but I just, I really didn't like it. Well, okay, let me put it. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I never loved it. I always thought that it was too stat-based. Way too stat-based. Um, you know, you had to just hold, you know. Wait, it was all based on reaction. There was no real strategy to it, except how you would. There was no, there was no strategy on the attacker's side, anyway. Um, it was always, um, it was always just chasing the, you know, the break walls. and Basically a waiting game until you get a prompt. This time... It's much different. This time, it's more like WWE 2K, UFC on SP3. Not quite on SP3. Um, but it's, it's close, and there is a lot more strategy to it. You can use generally the same idea, generally the same strategy as on SP3. Um, and the joint subs is just a, 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 a adaptation of the chuck sub. So it is what it is. Um, I think the circle needs to be a bit bigger, and they need to increase the animation frames on the bar when it moves quickly, because it, it, it's actually, at first, it was so choppy, I couldn't keep up with it. It was weird. Um, they, uh, I think they need to look into increasing the frames on that animation. Um, and I believe that the... So, when you are in a submission in this game, at a certain point, you will get a prompt to either punch as the uh, defender... Or go for a, a chain submission chain, submission chain. Can't even speak. As the attacker, depending on the submission, or you can get a slam at some point um, as the defender. I think it's actually kind of it's, it's kind of easy to miss this sometimes because it's a small prompt and you're looking at the bars, not the middle. So or it's at sort of the bottom of the circle. But um, you're not really looking at that. You're looking at the you're looking at the bars. So I think they should make the sort of the ring of the circle the, the like sort of you should like light up as the color of the corner that has the prompt. So it's it's a lot easier to see. Um, and I think they should probably all be the same button, um, because if they're not, I mean, some, t especially when you're learning the game, you're going to be a bit confused. You can have to look at the button real quick, and by the time, or rather, you're going to have to look at it real quick, and it won't immediately be triangle. So you're going to be a bit, you know, you might hesitate, and if you hesitate, the sub prompt is gone, so you've missed your chance. Um, uh, they the striking in submissions is, um, well, it's. <laughs> 
nowhere near as deep as I th hoped it would be, and that doesn't surprise me because EA is the master, master of mechanics that look cool but have absolutely no depth whatsoever. They've done it for four games in a row. Doesn't surprise me. It's depressing. Um, I really hope you could actually affect some understanding with strikes in submissions. There are probably some small effect, but it's, you know, it's, come on. It doesn't do it. You can't actually control it, which is annoying. Um, it's all one animation. Takedown defense is um, is an issue. And they've acknowledged this, I believe. They, they're aware of the OP takedowns, at least in the Bayer. So this might be, you know, this might change by a lot. I would hope so. Um, the takedowns are, well, okay, let me put it this way. I believe you have to let go of the left and right stick uh, while you are defending a takedown, otherwise you'll miss it. Left stick, I can understand, because there's, you know, movement uh, your movement tied to that, and you know, some things in takedowns are tied to that. Why is the right... Okay, so why is it that if you hold the right stick, I believe anyway, if you hold the right stick, you immediately, like, you will just, you can't stuff the takedown. Why can't they just disable the right stick from registering an input while there's a takedown, just so, R so L2 and R2 can actually, um... You know, L2 and R2 can do their thing because normally you might be mid heavy movement, and for whatever reason, either if it's a reaction from UFC three, you might be moving the right stick and might yeah move the right stick. You know, you just want to you don't want that to register an input. So if it's not useful, then just deny you know disable it registering input so L2 and R2 that that actually works. Um, and if it does still work, then the timing is so tight. I've only defended like three takedowns. The rest get ragdolled um i like the carry system that's nice but again it's all just half art not half fast it's how do i put this i don't think it's all that worth it and i'm not trying to demean the work it's great work but i don't the end game is always getting to the ground and i don't like the ground so to me it's not really much worth it's not it's not really got much value because i will always try and avoid the well i'll try to avoid the ground most times i you know the takedowns you want to go for if you're rocked but eh you always kind of end up a guard and it's... Ugh. I hate the ground game. The end. Um, anyway, single strike damage. Needs to be improved greatly. They haven't done that for quite a few games now. Well, I suppose UFC 3 and 4 do have higher strike damage than 1 and 2. But um, they sort of do enough. They don't do enough. Connor's left hand should absolutely dump truck people. And it doesn't. It doesn't. And it doesn't well it's competitive balance apparently you know it's the same thing as UFC 3 you can't have it be a 2 OP because people I mean look shit just give me a sim mode then for fuck's sake I want to do real damage I don't want to Connor's left hand is so weak compared to real life it's 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 annoying and everything will probably be the same so it doesn't surprise me the striking is identical doesn't surprise me I didn't expect a change in that what I did expect is a new grappling system and they didn't give that they didn't come out with that either let me put it this way I do not understand how this game took two and a half years to make. With all due respect to the developers, you could, like, I I have seen games make bigger leaps in two and a half years. Sports games. Um, and, shit, they don't even come out in two and a half years. It's like took in one year. I mean, you don't get much in a year, but you can get you can get a couple things. But two and a half years and all it is a new clinch and, 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 and take system. Yeah, there are some minor tweaks to striking and ragdolls and all that, which aren't come back to ragdolls in a minute uh which aren't all that you know they're not all that um but come on there needs to be a new grappling system at some point although it tells me that they're happy with what they have which is which is upsetting to someone like me who loves undisputed and thinks it has the best grappling system still think it's got the best striking system as well but that's either here or there Anyway, I would also like online sliders, which I don't think they're going to get. Quick interjection here. Looks like online sliders are in. Skynet just confirmed that they are no longer player versus CPU, but red versus blue, which, I mean, come on. That has to mean that it's online because you could use sliders offline, uh, you know, player versus player. So before, so, you know. He, he said it, it's a spoiler. He said, let me actually get it right here. There we go. He said, one thing I will spoil, the sliders that used to be there still are. And they're no longer CPU versus player, but red versus blue. So, looks like they're going to be in there. So, if we can actually share sliders as well, that'd be fantastic. I'd love to see slider sharing. Please, guys. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get any, but we'll see. We'll see. If we can adjust shit with the sliders, it could, you know, alleviate some of my woes with the ground game. And we could help improve that in uh, in our own sort of, you know, sim circle of you know, people I play with. So, that'd be nice if we could do that. So, I mean, I guess you could always just set them in a lobby anyway. So, just as long as you, you know, 
you trust someone to have the right slider settings. Um, shareable sliders, if you're in a league, so you can uh, actually register a slider set, and so everyone's on a league uh, level playing field, that would be nice. Um, in-depth slider options, more in-depth slider options and values, needs to be a thing, probably won't be. ZA, I don't expect anything on that front. I expect the bare minimum, basically. Um, finish the fight needs tweaking. Oh my god, another game. In fact, it's actually worse than UFC 3's finish the fight, which was worse than UFC 2's finish the fight. It's it's getting worse in every game. Um, it's about on par with UFC 3's launch finish the fight, which was terror. In fact, I don't even think there was finish the fight at launch. So um, I suppose it's about, you know, a little bit worse than post-patch UFC 3 finish the fight. It needs tweaking. I just think finish the fight needs tweaking. It really does. It's... Um, it needs to be a bit more like UFC 1's TKO system. If you're going to have a TKO system, you can pull from UFC 1. And the ground and power finish the fight animations when opponent went out cold in that game were really, you know, they were pretty damn good. They weren't quite Undisputed 3, but they were good. You know, I believe they were physics-based. Um, proper follow-up shots as, as well. Let me land a couple to an unconscious opponent. That's something we haven't had uh, since UFC 2 to the same level. Um, ever since Joe talked about it being too violent, they... Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, a moth tried to come into my face or something. No, that's wool. Ha! He tried to fly on my face. Um, anyway. Yeah, ever since that, Joe uh, Joe talked about UFC 2. There hasn't really been as much visceralness. It's, it's They sort of toned it down. The blood seems worse as well. The blood and cuts, I'm not seeing as much. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to appeal to the younger crowd, which... This sport is brutal, man. Like, just... Let it shine in its visceralness and its brutality, you know? Obviously, you don't, you don't want to glorify it, exactly, but you've got to represent it, you know? This sport is more is brutal. You've got to, you've got to let that show. Um, yeah, again, finish the fight. Needs tweaking. Proper TKO system. Um, you could actually, I think, I'm pretty sure you could repurpose that UFC 1 system to um, have a UD3 style finish the fight where if the opponent gets dropped to where they would normally just get you know recover to guard perhaps you get a chance to jump on them into a finish the fight sequence and they have to transition and they get free reign to transition or they have to post with the arm and perhaps they could uh you know try and catch the punch or something and then they could sort of get into a uh, a catch punch situation where they could bring the uh, opponent back down into guard or side control or um or half guard in whatever way, but it gives the opponent a chance to catch, to use their timing and skill to catch the punch and mitigate the damage. Stuff like that, you know? Just more opportunities for the player to, to use their skill and just give them more chances, you know? Give them, take, st stop taking away player choice. Okay, Ragnall also needs improving a lot. Uh, Skynet, which is uh, who's a developer for the AI, said it would never be like UFC 2 again. But isn't there a way to have the physics, you know, have the punches translate to the body? I mean, have them be less weighty. It, it really feels like they get sucked to the ground. So it feels like the gravity is rocketed up for them. Um, like UFC 3 especially. It really felt like that... Um, it really felt like the opponent was sucked to the ground at some point. Uh, it, it, the, the finish in that game, and especially 3 and 4, they're not great. They really hurt the replayability. Like, you know... And I, you know, one of the issues with the FC 2s ragdolls apparently was that they would magically move into position after you knock them out, um, so it would look a bit weird. But I think that's a worthy trade-off to get way better ragdolls um, and way better um, replayability. Just add a bit of weight to them, you know, nothing crazy, just a bit of weight so they don't fly from uppercut. Essentially, that, that, well, that, that, that's something I think they could hopefully tune at some point. But I, again, I don't have much faith. Um, it's EA, so what are you going to do? Okay, uh, traditional block when you're on the receiving end of ground and pound. For some reason, EA have this fetish of taking away control or having you wait for a certain amount of time before you can do something. You're never in total control, no matter what they say. And if you are, the controls are pretty awful and they're never as good as they could be. Um, yeah, again, a combination of the post system and clicking the right stick or pressing square. The old EA MMA arm catch animation could work for this if you could blend it with the current posture down. That's from regular guard. So similar to what I mentioned earlier about being able to catch the punch from a rock to finish the fight position, that would be nice. Um, just more options, more options. And I think if this ground game had the UD3 style denials, it would be so much better and playable. So much better. 
And it would take it would take more skill. I mean, you've got to time your transitions, you know. Like EA UFC, where you just have to rabbit punch, rabbit punch, deny, rabbit punch, rabbit punch, deny, transition. It's, ugh, it's upsetting. Granite Man needs to feel more satisfying. Um, doesn't, there's no follow through on the shots. They need the, I need to see the opponent physically react more. And I need to feel it through more, the, I need to feel it more through the controller as well. So stuff like a bit like just look at Unity 3. They had visceral ground and pound. It was beautiful, beautiful. He had to look at that, take essentially, you know, re re remake that ground and pound system, stick it in here. Oh, and one point on the fluidity. People have been saying that UFC 4 feels clunky. I feel the opposite. I don't think it's as fluid as Undisputed 3 uh, or Snappy. Uh, Snappy's Undisputed 3. I don't think it's here yet. But I believe it's a true 60. And I only have it on Pro, so I can't go on PS4. However, first of all, if it's a true 30, then it is way too responsive. I'm almost certain it's a true 60 because the graphics have downgraded a little bit as well. Um, so that accords with the way more responsive controls without the game being too different makes me think that by far, by far it's the most responsive EA UFC. I believe it's a true 60, and they can't actually get away with having the Pro being a true 60 and the, and the base console being a 30 FPS that Sony would get on their ass. Unless they've gotten away with it, they've snuck under the radar. Something tells me they haven't because I've got to submit it to Sony anyway. So, yeah, it is what it is there. Yeah, I really do think it's uh, the best feeling a UFC game on the feet, you know, responsive wise. So, responsive wise. So, good job on that, EA. Thank you very much for that. All right, finally. Get rid of that stupid, stupid, tacky, blood red graphic aesthetic thing when you rock somebody. It looks cheap. It really... That's another thing. I'll get onto this in a second. It looks cheap. Just bring back EMMA's rock slash KO effects. They looked super, super cool. They made the whole feel, thing feel like a grand and epic moment. And Moro would go crazy. It was amazing. Of course, we're not going to have Moro, but just that effect was great. And it wasn't too distracting. That is something that I believe would fit very well. Last point. Holy shit, they butchered the presentation. Not too much in, in, in fight now, but online, oh my god. I know people don't care about the intros, but even so, um, this whole choose a remote thing, it doesn't flow very well, and they need to work on the transitions between cutscenes, because especially when you're in the victory scene, it's not edited properly, like or timed properly. The camera change is sort of uh, sloppy. Uh, I need to tighten up there, which I hope they would do for launch, so... Yeah, hopefully. Uh, also, the presentation is still is still not good in in fight now. It's um it's not as good as UFC two, which had the correct fonts, something they still haven't got for UFC three, and it had the correct tail of the tape fonts. It had the correct um, positioning for the text as well, which they haven't done for UFC three or four. Uh, they've actually got it worse in UFC four, the tail of the tape. Somehow, it's actually worse than UFC three tail of the tape. I don't know how, but it is. So, hopefully, they fix that. Well, actually, they won't fix that. Hopefully, if we get another developer in, hope well, Ukes would be nice, and I know Ukes would do justice to that, and they would make that proper. They would actually do their due diligence with that one. And I mean, they had it right with the UFC Two. I don't know why they abandoned that, but hey, what are you gonna do? EA, gonna EA. That's my last point, really. Presentation, just to round it out. I really like presentation to be improved upon, but I don't think they will. Same walkout animation, same, you know, inspection animations, same cage animations, same intro animations. Ugh, uh, it doesn't surprise me, but I really did hope for an improvement there. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's basically it. I sort of went over what I liked, what I didn't like, what I think could be improved, and um, I had a decent time with the beta. It was disappointing, to be honest. I didn't have, I mean, I had a decent time. Though. I enjoyed a little bit. Of it. I had about a 57 fights, I think. I enjoyed it a little bit. Um, all fun with friends, as all the uh, UFC games are. The AI, well, the ground game is pretty awful, and especially with the AI that denies everything. Um, you have to build up GA, you have to deny GA. Ugh. It sucks. Um, although I did like the Meyer AI, in that it did do what it was supposed to do, I suppose, so that's a plus. But, um, yeah, need to work on the ground game, but they won't. But I, that's what I want anyway. I would like a preemptive denial system. I feel like that would be much better. Much better. And give some tells as well, like Undisputed 3, so you know when someone's actually denying and all that no that would obviously something you would you would need to do but yeah um i like the game it was fairly okay i mean it was it's not it's not a bad game but it's not what i expected and it's there are things that i really think they could improve upon that they haven't that i wish they would because i think it would greatly improve the gameplay and the realism but it doesn't seem like ea 
are willing to, you know, go down that path. So it is what it is. Just my thoughts. I won't be buying the game. I'll be sticking with Alice Peter 3 for another two, three, four years. However long until a new developer picks up the game. So I, I know those guys put a lot of work, but I, I think it's their time. Uh, it's time for a new developer to pick up the mantle. Ukes, please. Uh, those guys are the masters of realism in, in, in an MMA game. They are the GOAT when it comes to stuff like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just my thoughts. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments. Um, when I can upload gameplay, I will. Uh, they haven't let me yet, but it is what it is. Anyway, a little bit convoluted, but it will be sort of edited to be smoother in the uh, final product. So, yeah, you do, you do not want to see what this raw audio file looks like. It's pretty uh, all over the place. Anyway, I shall see you in the next one, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.